We have to jump around a little bit because of the update that happened in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Basically, they can play the two rounds any way they want, any order they want. Uh, but the the update kind of happened while some play people were playing both games and some people hadn't played any games. So next time we'll we'll go in order, but this time we're jumping around. Right. All right, I'm gonna jump into it. All right, I am paused. Okay. Oops. All right, ready, set, go. So in the red, we have Cocorico playing as the Vietnamese. That is Cito, the French player. Cocorico is the uh, sound that a chicken makes in French. Uh, so, uh, what is it in English? I don't. I don't think we have an official sound for chickens, do we? I don't, I don't know if we have like cluck. I would say cluck. cluck. Yeah, right. Yeah. So Cocorico is like the sound that a rooster is going to make in the morning. Um. And in the blue, we have Ganji. So same player that we saw in game one. So this is our, I believe our round two game, right? Kami Ganji, the teammates, we decided to have play together against each other in the first round. So this is round two for both players, Ganji and Sito. Yeah, I like the strategy here. So here's showing a little bit of the, you know, the different mindset for the players. Mm -hmm. um, Sito, he's being a little confident. He sees Vietnamese. Maybe they're a little bit stronger. They're a four points. So if he wins this game, he gets four points. Mm -hmm. Which actually, next time we need to update the, the score. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so if, Gan if uh, Sito wins, he'll get four points. If Ganji wins, he only gets two. Right. Vikings, we considered a, a pretty clear favorite mm -hmm. over over uh, Vietnamese. So um, kind of shows a little bit of the mindset where Sito's confident. He says, you know what? I, I think I can bet a little bit more points here. Uh, be a little bit riskier, take a little bit of a worse sieve, and still try to win. Mm -hmm. If Satoko doesn't win, if he loses, he gets no points. So, you know, it's it's one of those risk reward things. Yeah, that's what the tournament's all about. At least the phase that's one what is. That's it's all about. Yeah. I love it. And maybe Ganji's thinking, you know, I lost uh, my first round, so I'm going to go and try to go for a less risky pick the second round um, to try to even it out. Uh, you want to score up for... Oh. For has got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a... Uh, I have a scorecard here. I can okay. Watch. The the Google Doc with that looks really clean. I think I know which one you're going to show up. Yeah, I just want to make sure I share it only for view. Yeah, oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, so, so far we have... Yeah. Kami was Malians? Yes. Ganji was Britons. Or no, other way around. Oh! Yeah, you're right, you're right. Ganji won that last game. I'm confusing the players. So, what I said about Ganji losing doesn't make sense. He just chose a different civilization for um, his second round. So, he was Britons last round, Vikings this round. Um, still in the color blue, which is nice for us casting. But. Um, just going for a different two-point sieve, which I think is a, a solid strategy. If you can keep winning, you don't have to go yeah. for the, the big sieve wins. Um, and maybe Sito's just feeling even more confident. I spoke to Luca, another pro player at the same skill level, who um, will definitely be in the next round of the tournament if we are to repeat this tournament, depending on how much you guys like it. And uh, he thinks Sito is the favorite here in throughout the whole tournament. I don't know if that's just because he's uh, a fellow French speaker, francophone. Um, well, um, we don't have game score in terms of match score because these are different players and they're only playing one match each. No, he means like in the bottom corner. Um, oh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Too many scores. Well, now you have the scorecard too. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I do. I did turn score back on. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ganji thought that Sato was also the favorite. Okay. Um, interesting. Everyone was pretty confident, though. Yeah. Right. Uh, exclamation point! Interviews. If you want to check out the interviews of each of the six players in mm -hmm. this. Yeah. 
for how I interviewed each of them, and then showed a little bit of their gameplay in the background. Current's pointing out that Sito is 2k3 Voobly. Um, you could also open aoe2.stats, is that what it's called, or aoe2.net? Backslash stats, or something like that. I can't remember, it's just saved in my Chrome. I'll show you guys in between games, and we can look at player um, skill level. And uh, do you think Ganji's going to go for the fast castle again? He does have another, he has two back golds. That's a very clean map looking map for him. Vikings okay. fast castle, they don't, I mean, they're going to get wheelbarrow while they're going up uh, for free. Viking bonus. And uh, Sito also has, a, he's going for his secondary gold, but it's a bit safer. And he's going for four villagers welling as he's most of the way up to feudal, so it doesn't look like he's going fast castle. Um, yeah, Sato likes the pressure early. That's true. Um, of the players between him and Dragonstar, I think they're the two that like to pressure the most fast. Mm -hmm. He actually wanted to... He had some input on some Civ points and wanted to get some more that pressured early a little bit higher. Um, okay. Specifically Mongols. He kept it where it was. Kokuriko making sure to take the hill bonus here and uh, isn't going to lose much HP at all on his villager. He didn't have loom. And uh, I'm guessing these games came from C2 again because we have the age up bonuses or messages in French, which is a nice <laughs> addition. Ganji's here with his militia, but he's running into walls and I think he's scouted quite a bit of the base. Um, I don't know, he's just scouted the front, so I guess he's just assuming it's full walled, which... Uh, isn't a bad assumption. It looks pretty cleanly walled here from Sito. Um, but still forcing a villager to repair. And uh, yeah, quite a bit of lost HP on his scout. I'm not sure what that was due to. Maybe just earlier fights with the scout? Yeah, it must have been. Or must fighting a wrong. wolf, maybe? Because it must have been a bad hill fight. Yeah, I guess. Um, now he's got the advantage of being in feudal and uh, Ganji's only oh wait no I think it is the, the feudal damage where the scout might have been chasing Ganji's scout oh that makes sense yeah. yeah so looks like we have one range archers from the Vietnamese player um, don't see a uh, blacksmith yet and he's gonna lose the scout yeah so really well done there by Sito to pick off that scout while it's still weak what does Sito's scouting look like? Well, he has the Vietnamese bonus where he sees this TC for free, so he makes sure his scout doesn't run into that. And he still has quite a bit of HP on it, which is nice. And he's going to try to just find areas where he can hit. Knowing that Ganji's a pro player and he's decided to go for um, Fast Castle, he probably assumes that Ganji has a pretty solid map and he's not just doing this regardless of map. What do you think of the matchup between Vikings uh, and Vietnamese? Between Vikings and Vietnamese? I I like it. Um, I think the economy is still better for Vikings. Mm -hmm. I think Vikings are better. I don't know if they're a whole two points better. Right. You know, I feel like Vikings might be the low end of the two. Mm -hmm. and Vietnamese might be the high end of the four. If that makes sense. Like right, they're yeah. pretty good for where they are. Yeah. So I feel like it's not as big of a, a risk as... Um, as maybe some other points would have been. Yeah. Krim points out that uh, Vietnamese being strong against Vikings in late game. Um, I see that with, you know, they've got the stronger archers in late game. And then Berserks aren't super common in on Arabia for Vikings. Um, might be a choice. And then, I, I don't know, do you think Vietnamese would ever go elephants in this matchup? Elephants just sound so expensive to me. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's really hard to get to like a good elephant mass, right. I think, in one v ones. However, I don't know if Vietnam or if Vikings have a good answer. They get um, chieftains, chieftains that give them a bonus, but that's not the same as the halberdier bonus. Right. With no how, but I think it's it's a bit oh, harder against elephants. Yeah. All that HP. Mm -hmm. Agree. But I mean, Vikings can do a they can do a very solid cavalier. They get um, both the upgrades for that. Well, they, they miss... You're right, they got the armor upgrade, but they do miss... Um, husbandry, or not husbandry. Um, bloodlines. So that will 
limit them a little bit there. Second oh, layer nice. of walls from um from Ganji, our Vikings player. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like he's going okay, so he's he's, he's just playing doing it safe for sure. There, yeah. yeah, that's that's good because he's gonna have the tech advantage for sure. Um, with crossbow and a few archers on their way, uh, quite a few archers on their way, but he is gonna be behind in in this little, little early section. Um, until he gets those upgrades. And he doesn't want to take a fight before he has those upgrades. So that was very well done from him. Far better than I would have responded. And uh, looks like this man at arm from Ganji, or militia from Ganji, might just try to sneak in, or he's just trying to scout around, seeing what um, <laughs> Sito is up to, what his plans are. Honest. Yeah, exactly. So if he saw that, I don't know if he did, he might have seen that um, Sito just garrisoned up into the TC. So right. he might know that he just clicked up. Mm -hmm. So there will be a decent amount of time, and yeah, Sito's going to send... Oh no, I thought he was going to send his archers back. It doesn't look like he is. Yeah, there maybe just yeah, walk around, and now it's really important for Sito to figure out where Ganji's archers are going and track them. And he's running into walls. Does he see the house being rebuilt? Yeah, he does. Or, no, I'm looking at the wrong perspective. I, yeah, I think he saw the house being rebuilt, so he might assume that the archers are down at the bottom side and he's going to go scout over there. So really well done from him determining where the pressure is coming, but he's going to miss the archers if they're just too speedy. Where would you hit if you were Ganji? Where I mean, you, you can see the berries, right? You can see the berries, you can see the gold. You have to assume that gold's not being taken. Right, because it was walled out. So you must know that there's got to be a back gold somewhere, but his scouting mm -hmm. is quite limited because he lost his scout in the beginning there, and he's just scouting oh. with um, one militia now, just finding the extra areas. So I think he's going for the wood line, right? Yeah, he sees the lumber camp there. He doesn't know where the other lumber camp, or the other gold is, so. Mm -hmm. Berries are gone. And good reaction there. Ooh, a little bit of mispathing, so he loses a vill. But... Oh yeah, got blocked by the, the other vill. Yeah, yep. the other lady. And now he's sending his military over but he probably doesn't want to take Sito or yeah Sito probably doesn't want to take a fight oh no patrol Sito probably doesn't want to take the fight too early before he gets upgrades obviously he has a much bigger mass so he will be taking out this crossbow army our militias found himself a wolf and uh yeah it's pretty, it's pretty smooth otherwise I think it'd be interesting if uh Vietnamese went for a um like elite skirm and elephant combo I don't think it's the the play, but it'd definitely be interesting. And I like how Sito's building this town center to help secure him his um, wood line, but he oh, yeah. sent his archers out bills. too too early. Yeah. Oh, the deer blocking a little bit. Yeah, blocked yeah. another bill. So unlucky pathing <laughs> twice there. Just gonna retask the some people to house. Dead. Deer is clutch. <laughs> we need a, like a woo 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 for deer for block pathing. <laughs> And uh, it looks he's like Sito's to gonna. Or Ganji there. So Sito's gonna pick off just as many um, bills on the other side. And Ganji's definitely slow to react there. Oh man, that's so unfortunate. I think he only like, missed one. Or only got one. Yeah, right. With like eight volumes. He, he, was, he was like trying to task backwards, which made no sense. He's just too excited, it seems like. It's not like, like the, the, the villagers are gonna shoot. Blocking. Right, it's not like the villagers are gonna shoot back. And uh, let's see how quick Sito is to react to these archers. Okay, they're just out of range, so Ganji did a good job there. He's denying a little bit of the wood line, but I think... Oh, he's denying both wood lines. He's playing well here. And then obviously he has to react at home as well. Where did you see... Oh, you see the siege workshop from Ganji at home. Interesting. So oh, He's going to break in here, though. Yeah. On the gold, it looks like. And I think he's going to have to run. Yeah, he's running real quick and then bringing the archers up so we have eight archers against 11 um can hide in the town center a little bit yeah neither of them have gotten ballistics yet right it doesn't no looks like they're missing okay. but they're also the uh upgrades are for sito he's got the armor upgrade and two. he's got the hp bonus too so oh yeah um Ganji has no armor upgrades at all. I guess with the fast castle, he didn't get that on his way up to Castle Age, of course, because he didn't have any archers yet. And does Sito have... Neither have ballistics yet, right? Okay. Because 
Kokoriko made Sito made uh, the university quite early, right when he made his first town center, or made his new town center. And this group of ten archers is gonna push him off completely. Yeah, that's true. That's true for quite a while. As long as Sito can make those alive. Look at this micro, beautiful stuff. Just targeting the crossbows first, and then the mangonel later. Using the hell bonus too. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good cleanup from Sito. That shows the skill level so well. Ganji probably thought he had that. Now two mangonels. As long as oh, this mangonel is getting stuck. I think he just brings the mangonel back for a moment, and just to keep it alive, and then wait for the other mangonel to arrive. Oh, he's doing a so good while, job with the mangonel micro now. While we watch that dance on that uh, wood line of Sito, there's like <laughs> six or, or four or five dead bill bodies rotting. Around. Oh, you're right. You're so right. Good job on him, Ganji, with that. Maybe that's what he was paying attention to. He didn't really care about the these archers at home because he knew he'd clean this up eventually. Against two Manganels, very hard. Is he going to keep this Manganel alive? One HP? No, he doesn't. Okay, now it's going to be hard without two Manganels. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sito forgot the micro. <laughs> Interesting. You probably thought he was in the minimum range of the Manganel. So, Kern's calling it for. Um, wait. Wait, Kern, you're calling it for both players? <laughs> He's great. Sito's gonna win. That's <laughs> <laughs> There's the elk. Yeah, for Ganji. First elk sighting. In <laughs> yeah. So their scores are very even. Um, villager count is ahead for Ganji, and as Viking C has the free wheelbarrow as well. So his eco is gonna be quite a bit stronger. Um, but he doesn't have the same army mass. I love his army is the Smaganel, which is getting good good hits. I think I like the placement here. He knows where he's exposed on this hill. He doesn't want to lose this hill, but <laughs> the skirm is just going back and forth, and that's a free Manganel kill because Ganji didn't react in time. I guess he's paying attention to the other side where he's getting more Vil kills. This woodline is really exposed. Um, I think if I were Kokriko, I'd try to send villagers to the woodline next to the second town center in the front, just because it's a bit safer. Yeah, or even just shift it to the other side. Yeah. I mean, there's been like eight or nine dead bills there. Yeah, or even just wall it a little bit. Wall it to the other wood line, and then you have that safe wood. But obviously that's asking a lot. Yeah, Blush on 2 HP, doing work. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die. Okay, so it looks like Sito does have ballistics now. Because that militia got hit with all those arrows as he was tracking. Thank you, Militia. We needed. <laughs> we, we needed to that figure damage. that out. That was your last <laughs> last task. Ah, okay, Kern. Gotcha. I was just a little bit late reading your message. Um, Sito is gonna have to push out to another gold pile soon. Yeah, He's on the last. How much is this? Eighty gold. Hopefully, he recognizes that. Probably. Paying, yeah, he's paying attention to his idle villager button, so he'll see that, and then he'll be able to take his main gold, which is quite a bit safer now. Everyone says that, well, the, at least a couple people have said that Sito is the favorite, but look at that mining camp. Back at his, uh, right next to his seed workshop at home. Oh, wait, Sito? Yeah. Sito's mining camp at home? It's just right up against the stone. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was looking at the golds and I was very confused. And I was finding town center for that main gold, which makes sense. It's a nice spot for it. Um,. And he has two skirms just patrolling the woodline that's lost so many bills on it. That's right, Ciro. This is the pro casting that you came here for. <laughs> yeah, this is like in Hidden Cup 3, I feel like that was a big feature that the casters went on is like what the mining, at least maybe I did more than the casters did, just figuring out who the players were based off their eco building placement. Because the Viper <laughs> likes to trap those bills in. Um, yeah, where is Ganji's army? That's true. He's got a um, 10 crossbow and a... 31 to 12, his. yeah. I mean, he can defend, and... I think Sito was better off when he was pressuring these two um, town centers up on the hill, rather than the front of the base. The front of the base doesn't have too much there to hit. Oh, He's man. just killing if houses. Get... Oh, okay, he ran away. If you could get in between that mill and blacksmith, I feel like that's... That's 20 dead crossbow. Right, yeah. One mangano shot. So, uh, yeah, I think the building placement is helping here for Ganji. And, yeah, the reason he's not taking the fight is because he's clicking up to Imp. And I'm guessing Sito recognizes that. 
Especially with the big score drop now, we have a 700 point difference. And, uh, yeah, I, I, Ganji definitely needs more military to survive till Imp. Otherwise, he's going to be at a big deficit. Yeah. Especially... He lost. Sorry, he's still got the 13 Ville lead. Mm -hmm. He's on his way to Imp. He needs to, he needs to transition that into some sort of army, though. Right. Yeah, at this point, I think he has so much uh, wood, so maybe dropping a market? Am I uh, not on the right person? Okay, no, his resource is looking pretty good. He's got 28 on gold, so he should be able to produce archers for days, but he isn't. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got his two too. ranges. Uh, he's got crossbows, but he's fighting two mangonels. Yeah. It's, it's four mangonels against one now. Alright, he's doing a good job with this mangonel micro so far. Oh yeah, really good. Okay. Ganji is holding on to his army numbers, but he's getting housed and he really needs more crossbows. And he's producing from th two uh, ranges. I think he really needs to buy some wood at this point, but I don't think he has a market. He's going out to the right here. He's dropping another town center. Oh boy. I don't think that's the play here. He's he's going real boomer boy. <laughs> Back at Sito's base, he is not looking like he's going to click up anytime soon. Uh, he was getting housed himself. I, I guess actually he does have the eco the economy. There we go. He clicked up. Um, I think I don't know if he bought or sold. Yeah, the bill counts a lot closer now. I think Ganji stopped building. Yeah. Maybe. That might stopped be true. Bills. Now he's got him going, but. Um, and it looks like Ganji's trying to try to hit Sito at home with the ball of army, but um, Sito tracked that. So, oh. This is a nice find. Wait, Ganji still doesn't have ballistics. Oh, he's getting it right now. Oh, okay. A bit late, Ganji. 60%, yeah. Yeah, he needs to run. Absolutely needs to run. Sito did a good job reacting with those bills, didn't lose any of them. Building accidental farms, and he's going to bring a castle there. So, Vietnamese castle, and with the army number, going to be up to imp before Ganji can really do too much with his army. And what do Vikings do to counter... I don't know if we're going to see you, Rattan Archers? Rattan Archers? I mean, they'll probably just be added in anyways, right? I think Ganji oh, just got too what, greedy. Yeah, I don't know what the Vikings can do against it. Yeah. Um, he is... Ganji's going heavy on stone. But I think he just went, tried to go for Imp way too early. Stop making military too early. Oh my gosh, Sito is so fast with his reactions. On that town center, garrisoning it. So I think the yeah he needs to get a ton of value out of that yeah. group of arbalests on the bottom. And I mean, is there a hole? No. Okay, he's just going in that same crack he went in earlier. He loves that. <laughs> and oh, these villagers on the right from Ganji are all gonna get hit when they go to that wood line. Oh, that is yeah. so many. You think this will be the game? <laughs> that is a lot. Of it. I think all these go down. Thirteen bills right here. I think they all go down. He's up twelve, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. He's <laughs> up six now. Oh boy. And yeah, he's gonna run into the castle at the front of his base and the three mangonels. Does he see the castle at least? Oh yeah, those. No, he doesn't even see the castle. Oh. But I think. Ganji has enough for a castle? Yeah, Ganji needs to secure this hill on the right side of his base, I think, where his two town centers are. It's um, like very dicey right now. Yeah. Don't. See, like, I think he has to secure his base first. He does have four town centers. The villagers just go in blindly to find another wood line up to the top side, but they're gonna have to walk quite <laughs> a ways to find it. And so, do we have about already? So, we have our blessed on the way. Um, and Ganji's army got cleaned up, or did he bring it back home? I think it all got cleaned up, right? And there's the oh, GG well so. played. So, yeah. yeah with the, still with the Vil count high. Yeah. Which, I mean, I mean obviously, he's. It's definitely a good, uh, good GG moment, mm -hmm. but it just kind of shows you how the pressure, even with the economy. Yeah. I mean, look how, what his resources look like. He had plenty of res. He just wasn't taking the right fights. He wasn't using the res. These team game players, man. They, they just don't know how to do multiple units at once. I guess there wasn't that many units. And he played well until Castle. It was just, he dropped off from Sito's 
pressure uh, oh, I think too he early. Great. He was pressuring. He was counterattacking mm -hmm. when when uh, he recognized that Sito was microwing at certain different locations. Yeah. Um, I think that he was got a lot game. of picks on that wood line. Yeah, I think it was really good. I'd like to see a bit more imp action to really see what the the final unit composition looked like. Um, but I think Ganji just. I mean, what do you think was the factor that played to Ganji's demise? I think it was just pressuring uh, resource locations at key moments, right? Yeah. The, true. Being off gold for a little bit, I think, actually really hurt him when that those ten mm -hmm. expos or whatever those guys. Um, in the back of Ganji's base, mm -hmm. kept him off gold for a while. Do you uh, think that's and, when he stopped making archer production and then just never picked it back up again? Well, I think he stopped at that, you know, at that moment, and that's going to delay you a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're right. Just maybe at that point he realized, okay, I'm going to be behind in military count, so I'm just going to go try to go for the faster imp approach. Yeah. But he didn't have like the upgrades didn't account for how far behind he was in military. Yeah. I think this 4th TC was a mistake, too. He wasn't running like out of said, gold that think... early. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cut you off. Like I said, I think um, Vietnamese, like, they're they're a high. They're a good four. Right. So I don't think that's a, that big of a, a day, of a change. Their economy's, you know, really good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Good game, though. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, let's look at the stats real quick. 43 to 99 at the end there. Um, in terms of the KD, no wolf kills this game, unfortunately. And then, interesting. Um, Sito is still ahead in pretty much every single resource collected. Even though Ganji had the, the Vilhai. And it's all that idle time. Yeah, I guess so. That really paid all off. All that running that around. Yeah. Shows why Sito goes for that pressure so often in games. And then three minute difference in imp timing, but um, didn't matter too much because Ganji wasn't able to capitalize on it. The scorecard is up to date. All right, what? exclamation point score if you guys want to see what the round robin scores are. Yeah, Kern points out that that same thing you pointed out with the the gold in the back of the base really impacting the match. Mm -hmm. so I think now. We want to jump into it. Kami, Kami and Dragonstar. Yeah. So Kami, who won game one, playing as... Or no, he lost game one, playing as 